executing trades. The trading activity in the platform implies forming and sending market and pending orders to be executed by a broker, as well as managing current positions by modifying or closing them. In the platform, you can review your account trading history, configure alerts of market events, and much more. Opening positions. Opening of a position or entering the market is the primary purchase or sale of a certain amount of a financial instrument. In the trading platform, this can be done by placing a market order as a result which a deal is executed. A position can also be open as a result of a triggered pending order. Placing an order and general parameters. There are several ways to call a dialog window for order creation. You can select a symbol within the market watch and click the new order icon in its context menu. You can also press the F9 hotkey. In the order window, a symbol will be inserted in accordance with the platform settings. You can also click the new order icon in the tools menu or the new order icon within your standard toolbar. Uh, so let's go over some basic examples on how to create a simple trade dialog window within MetaTrader 5. Uh, this is basically a simple trade ticket. The first method I would like to demonstrate is by simply selecting a symbol within the market watch that you have created. And you want to go ahead and left click that particular symbol. You can see that it's highlighted. And then what you're going to want to do is right click with your mouse. And now you're going to see the option new order. All right, so when you, slick, when you click on new order, this window will appear and that's what the trade dialog window looks like so this is one way of executing trades within MetaTrader 5 another way to bring up the same exact trade dialog window is by simply hitting your F9 shortcut key on your keyboard if you look on the top of your if you're using a regular desktop keyboard on your computer there you should have F keys if you hit the F9 key as I'm going to do right now you can see now the trade dialog window will appear Another way as well is you can go in and click the new order icon in the tools menu here at the top and you'll see new order and you can see that the trade ticket dialog window will appear. And the last method is by using the simple standard toolbar which is here by clicking new order and you can see the same exact trade dialog window will, will appear as well. All right, so those are four different ways of creating a trade ticket within MetaTrader 5 uh, which is essentially a tool that you can use for execution. Now, while we have this trade dialog window open, let's go over some of the parameters that we see within the trade dialog window, uh, starting with the symbol field here. The symbol field is basically the financial instrument that you'd like to perform a deal for. The type drop-down menu here is basically if one of the ex execution modes is selected in this field, a market operation is executed for the selected instrument, otherwise a pending order of the selected type is placed. So you have execution, exchange execution, which is basically a market order, or you also have pending order, which gives you the ability to, to choose different uh, working orders, such as buy limit, sell limit, and so forth. You also have your volume field here, uh, which is going to indicate the volume of an order in lots. Uh, let's keep in mind, of course, the greater the volume of a deal, the greater its potential profit or loss, uh, depending on where the symbol price will go. The deal volume will also affect the margin reserved on the trading account for the position itself. You also have your stop loss field here, uh, which is basically you know, a level that's typically set to limit the position loss. If you leave a zero value in this particular field, uh, the, this type of order will not be set upon executing a trade. Another field that you see to the right of it is take profit. And again, uh, this, this level is particularly set to, to lock in profits of a position. If you leave a zero value in this particular field, uh, this type of order will not be set upon execution, uh, whether you're using a exchange execution order type or pending order. All right, so basically, we'll go ahead and demonstrate as we progress forward through the video in, in this particular series that we'll show you how to utilize the stop loss and take profit function, which is basically an OCO bracket function. If you leave the value set to zero when executing trades, you're just basically executing a naked position. However, later in the video, we'll go and show you how to, or not in this particular video, but we'll have a separate video, which will show you how to create uh, the actual bracket order around your position. And then you also have the comment field, which is pretty cool. Uh, the take profit level, or better yet, the, the comment field is an optional text comment to an order 
it's the maximum the maximum comment length is going to be about 31 characters and the comment will appear in the list of open positions and also in the history of orders and deals a comment to an order can be changed by a broker or server for example if a position is closed by a stop loss or take profit the corresponding information is then added into the comment all right, so that's a, a general idea of the fields and parameters that you see within the trade dialog window. A couple things that I want to point out, a few tips. Uh, there's a convenient way to modify prices, volume, or stop loss and take profit levels by a certain increment amount. So for example, if I hit the up and down arrows here under the price to set my order, order type for, so let's just say um, you know, I want to move instead of using it. You can see this is the mini S&P. It's moving in quarter increments as I click up and down which is the tick increment, the minimum tick increment for the mini S&P. Watch what happens when I hold down my shift key simultaneously while clicking the up and down arrows. It then will move in five tick increments. So you can see it's going from 49, 50 and a quarter, which is five ticks. So that's by me holding down the shift key simultaneously while, holding, uh, while clicking the up and down arrows. All right, now if I hold down the control key instead, this will move it in 10 tick increments. So you can see it's at 49, now 51 or 51 and a half, 54, 56 half. So it's gonna move in 10 tick increments if I'm holding the control key while simultaneously clicking the up and down arrows. And if you uh, wanna hold down control plus shift at the same time on your keyboard while clicking, that's gonna move in 50 tick increments. All right, so those are little shortcuts. So I'll repeat, if you're holding down your shift key only, it's gonna move in five tick increments. If you're holding down your control key, it's gonna move in 10 tick increments. And if you're holding control and shift simultaneously, it'll be 50 tick increments. All right, so this is an easier way to increase the amount of tick increments when you're clicking those up and down arrows. All right, and that's uh, pretty much the shortcut that you can utilize, uh, whether you're using a stop loss or a take profit or a price. Another thing as well, if you notice to the left of it, there's a tick chart that's visible. If you have no interest in seeing the tick chart, you can go ahead and double left click anywhere within the trade dialog window and it goes away. If you want it, simply double left click again and it will reappear. So double left click on, double left click, or better yet, double left click on, double left click off. And upon order execution, an appropriate message about an open position is added to the trade tab of the toolbox window, as well as the order and the deal or deals executed for the order uh, that's added then to the history tab. All right, so if a stop loss or take profit is specified incorrectly in the order, upon pressing the button, the invalid stops alert appear and the order is then not accepted. I saw a quick demonstration real quick. If you, by now you should be, if you're watching this video, I'm sure you trade futures, of course. So you should know that limit orders and stop orders can only be placed on certain sides of the market. So for example, a sell stop can only be placed below the market price. All right, so if you're trying to place a stop loss order, uh, this might be a bad example because I'm not in the position. Let me just go ahead and get into a quick trade real quick. So I'm going to go long. I have a long position. I just bought one mini S&P at 21.45 half. And let's just say I go to place a stop order. So right now the market's trading at 21.45 and a quarter. Uh, let's just say I want to place a stop loss at 21.45, uh, 40, 40, 21.46 even. All right, that's an invalid price because the market is currently trading at 21.45 and a quarter. Therefore, this button is basically disabled. All right, so it's a, almost like an auto detect function within the platform. It's not going to allow you to place the incorrect order on the wrong side of the market. So if I get on the right side of the market for that specific order type, that button then becomes active. All right, so let me just close the position out real quick. And as far as placing actual trades from the trade dialog window, it's really simple. Uh, it's very, very simple. All you would need to do to simply send a buy order, click the buy button. So in this case, let's show an example. I'm going to use one lot as an example. Hit the buy button if I want to place a buy order. There's the buy order executed. Let's reopen the ticket once again. And then instead of using the close button, I will demonstrate that in a different video. And then to send a sell order, just click the sell button. And there you go. You can see now the position has been closed out. All right, once an order is sent, its execution results will appear in the window. A successful trade operation or reason why it, had, it has not been executed, uh, only if one-click trading is enabled in the platform settings. Upon successful order execution, the trading window closes without notification of execution results. All right, so uh, let's uh, 
give you a quick example. If you go to the very top of the platform, the Tools menu tab here, and you go to Options, watch the difference. I currently have one-click trading enabled. I prefer that this is my preference, so I, I generally don't need second confirmations when I go to place a trade, especially if, if you watched the depth of market video that I did. Uh, there is a second confirmation. If you uncheck this option here and you go to place a trade, you know, off the dome, for example, it gives you a confirmation. Are you sure you want to do this? All right, so in my case, uh, I don't want that, so I disabled it. But let me show you now if you do it for the trade ticket, what happens? The trade will execute, but what will happen is I'm going to hit a buy order. It will just give you a confirmation of the order being done. All right, so you can click OK. You can print it, whatever you want to do. But it just basically, that's that's all it does. It still acts, acts, it still actually executes the trade. You can still, that I, you can see here I'm in the position. All right, so that's one thing that uh, you have to be aware of. If you disable the trade, or you, if you if you enable the trade confirmations, it actually executes the trade upon the click, but it just gives you a confirmation on the trade ticket, letting you know that it was done. All right, so technically there's not really a second confirmation. It's kind of strange. Let me show you again. I'm going to sell it here. All right, you can see that I have a long position right here in my toolbox. But watch when I hit sell, the position's closed out. So technically, it was a single click to execute the trade. The only difference is it's giving me a confirmation, letting me know that it's been done. Now watch what happens when I go to tools and then options. If I turn the one-click trading back on, just a disclaimer, I'll just go ahead and click OK. Watch the difference. It executes the trade and doesn't give me that confirmation of the order being done, and it just closes the ticket right away. So there's really, it still is technically single click trading, but the only difference is it just doesn't give me the additional confirmation letting me know that the order is completed. So uh, it's a little strange, but I want to bring that up because I, I think that's pretty important. And other than that, that's a quick introduction to executing trades within MetaTrader 5. If you have any questions about this, please contact our 24-hour support team. We're available around the clock, so as long as the markets are open. You can reach us at 312-893-6400, extension 1. Gets you transferred directly to our help desk. In the meantime, uh, definitely stay in tune and up to date on our YouTube channel. We're definitely proactive in keeping you up to date on new products such as MetaTrader 5. You can reach us at www.youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Again, that's www youtube.com forward slash AMP Futures. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. And uh, we appreciate you for you tuning in and happy trading. Talk to you soon.